Today we had a great experience uh, working with other medical professionals, uh, nurses and pharmacy students, and uh, I found it uh, really useful for me because we could practice some clinical skills uh, that we've learned in school and also give back to the community with it. I found that it was a great way to try and master the skill of taking someone's blood pressure because even though you may have a lot of practice before, still having not that many months doing it myself just in first year, um, I think having that backing and really learning it well will help me come back to it later if I ever have a time where I'm, I'm not practicing it as much. Um, and on the communication side of things, um, I, I know a little bit of Greek from my Greek classes so far, which has helped me sort of relay information in terms of whether your blood pressure was good. Uh, I might be able to say kala or um, if they need to go to the next station. And so it, being able to practice skills in a language that you're not so well versed with, I think in the long term will help me communicate to people who have a completely different language that I have no idea how to relay information to. And so using nonverbal communication and being able to respond or work with a translator as we were able to work with some student nurses and student pharmacists really aided that. We had screening examination on a few patients. Um, we were responsible at doing a spirometry test. One of the cases that we saw uh, which seemed important was that um, even though the patient seemed fine lung-wise, when we were looking through um, the other tests that the patient had done, uh, his uh, blood pressure was extremely high and so when we asked him if he had a history of high blood pressure he said that he did however he is taking medication which gave us the clue that it wasn't really well controlled and so we referred him to the doctor um, this shows us that it's very important to do screening exams uh, and to look at the patient as a whole not just to focus on one problem